perfect paradise. That's how Queen Victoria described this spot. This beach was one of the main reasons she and Prince Albert bought Osborne House. He was very keen on swimming. In fact, all their nine children were taught to swim here. Queen Victoria was a bit more reluctant. And it wasn't until the summer of 1847 that she finally took her first dip. And she wrote about it in her journal. Drove down to the beach with my maids and went into the bathing machine and bathed in the sea for the first time in my life. <laughs> I thought it delightful till I put my head under the water when I thought I should be stifled. Of course, Victoria did not bathe as mere mortals do. She had a bathing machine and a fairly grand one at that. It's been restored and this month it's been moved back to the beach where it stood for 50 years. What would have happened is the bathing machine is pulled out, in this case by a winch, right into the sea and Queen Victoria would then gently come out. Now she wouldn't really have swum because if you've seen a, a bathing costume of the time they were really heavy material. In fact it's not like our skimpy bikinis today. Uh, you'd have probably sunk if you tried to swim in those. Another feature on the beach is the alcove that was built for Victoria. She would often enjoy the shade in here and sketch the views across the Solent. The alcove has been restored to the exact colour scheme originally approved by Queen Victoria herself. One of the great pleasures in coming down here is you get such a fresh image of Queen Victoria, paddling, sketching, collecting seashells with her children, simply getting away from it all.